Okay, this is our last day to practice um, simple uh, linear inequalities. Uh, we will start next week compound. Okay, so that's going to be two or more inequalities simultaneously connected with the word and or or. Uh, so we'll, uh, on my Zoom call, I'm going to try and do a little, little bit of talk about an intro to that, um, but I may save that all for next week. All this is today is exactly what we've been doing for the last few days, except we're, there's a little bit more simplifying before we get to work. All right. Um, I've been having some trouble with the writing tools, so let's hope this goes well. So we would start off immediately distributing to simplify. That's going to give me a 2a minus 2 minus 9 is greater than 9. Okay, now we would simplify our like terms. So it's going to give me a 2a minus 11 is greater than 9. Add 11. And that gives you 2a is greater than 20. Divide both sides by 2. And a is greater than 10. Okay. A is greater than 10. Notice we divided by a positive, so nothing had to flip. So everything stays the same. Okay, now, things look a little bit more intimidating, but they're not. Realize a fraction, fraction bar implies parentheses. So really, if I wanted to write this, this is Q minus 20, in parentheses over negative four. And it's less than or equal to four. Well, when we solve, we uh, go in reverse order of operations. So I know this is sub, uh, subtraction. We normally back that out first, but it's in parentheses. So we're gonna save that for the end. So we're gonna back out the, the, the division by negative four. And we undo division by negative four by multiplying by negative four. Now I'm multiplying both sides of the inequality by a negative value. This inequality has to flip. So from less than or equal to, it becomes greater than or equal to. And four times negative four is negative 16. Okay, now the Q minus 20 is all by itself we can just add 20 to both sides and Q is greater than or equal to four. Switch back to the pointer. Q is greater than or equal to four. Okay. Now, um, okay, so we've got a parentheses here. So once again, we would distribute across, and that would give us 2d plus 16 greater than or equal to 4. We would subtract 16 from both sides, and 2d is greater than or equal to negative 12. Okay, we're dividing both sides now to solve for d. We're dividing by a positive 2, so dividing by a positive won't have to change the sign. So D is going to be greater than or equal to negative 6. We'll do one more, but I think you have the idea by now. So this is really technically in parentheses. So one is greater than C minus nine over three. So since that's really in parentheses and we reverse the order of operations when solving, uh, I'm gonna save this for last. So I'm gonna back out the division by multiplying both sides by a positive three. 
the threes will cancel, and this gives me three is now greater than C minus nine. I'm gonna add the nine to both sides, add the nine to both sides, that gives me 12 is greater than C. Now I'm gonna read this in the operation, uh, in the opposite direction. If 12 is greater than C, then C must be less than 12. So C is less than 12. Again, I like my variable on the left, especially when I have to graph. It's going to make life.